Listen, boys, hey, we're going to go ahead and cut this conversation short. I've said this before. I'll say it again, man. Like, talking to an underage uh, anything is just absolutely ridiculous. He, he's a grown-ass man. He should have never done that. Okay? Period. It's weird. Um, you know, that's just as, uh, just as much as what I'll say on it. Okay? I, 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 you guys know me. I hate cancel culture. I hate cancel culture more than literally anything it's it's anti fucking uh, american not being able to speak your mind on things without having the uh idea or having the concern that a group of people are going to try and cancel you in every way shape and form uh, impossible but in my personal opinion this isn't cancel culture okay this is he spoke to an underage individual and that is unacceptable there's a huge difference Alrighty, it's not freedom of speech or anything like that. He spoke to an underage child, okay? And when I say child, I am saying the same regards to a 17 year old as a child. That is a young child, all right? Anyone who is an older adult will understand what I mean by that, okay? Whenever I was 17, I was making adult decisions, yes, but I was still a kid, okay? You are still a kid, all right? It's a young adult, all righty? So it is not acceptable. It is very aggravating for someone, you know, even like me, where I like Doc a lot. I, I think he was uh, an awesome streamer. He's one of the reasons I started streaming. And it sucks that it took this long for something like that to come out. And Lupo said it great, where, you know, I'm not more mad, but it's also very frustrating that people who aligned themselves with him had no idea that this ever happened, yet he continued to work with people. So when it comes out, all these people are under scrutiny for even being his friend, even though they had no idea that it was happening, okay? So it's not acceptable, it is not okay, period. It's not cancel culture, it's just not, it's not okay, right? It's bullshit, you don't do that to people. You don't have a second, you know, basically a second live or doing things behind the fucking curtain while you're sitting there. That's like if I was, you know, doing things, me and some are playing games every day and I'm doing things to jeopardize not only my career, but make him look bad as well. That's what that's in streaming world. When you give someone a platform or you give someone, you know, your time and you're playing with each other and having a good time and working together, right? What they do reflects on you to a certain degree. So again, what he did is not okay. It is, you know, it's just not, it's not okay, man. It's not, I don't care if you like him or if you don't like him. I, again, I was a fan as well. Okay. I remember geeking out when he followed me on Twitter. Gaming community, right? The Champions Club. And we've, we've built it on this platform. And this is... And if there's an opportunity to reapply for a partnership, and there's a date that's been presented to us, then I'm going to take it. In the meantime, like we always done, we've always stayed in our lane. We'll stay in our lane and continue to just put on a show. It's not TOS. Watching you know? and responding to something is different than playing with him. We are okay. For almost four years, champs, the public demanded to hear from the doc regarding the Twitch suspension. I guess since you all missed the point with my personal statement, maybe it's time to tell my side of the story. Aren't Here you? we go. You see, there was a lawsuit pending. And as part of that arbitration, all parties were not allowed to speak publicly about the case. <laughs> I respected those rules. My lawsuit against Twitch was eventually resolved, as you all know. But even then, as part of the settlement, all parties were still prohibited from speaking publicly about the case or the settlement. However, if one side violated that confidentiality, then the other side could respond. And again, champs, again, I respected all the confidential obligations. <laughs> mm -mm. But apparently Twitch's own disgruntled employees didn't feel the need to abide by those same obligations. Cody Connors, Ex-Twitch employee wasn't even involved. Leaks Twitch's reported reason. Years later, Cody, why, why you, why do this? 
What was the point? This was settled professionally. And you, knowing how black and white the internet is, you decided, you fucking rat, to leak the reported reason Twitch banned me in 2020. Well, I mean, for what, Cody? Why? Did you not know the repercussions from spewing lies about the two-time? Did you not know the repercussions of accusing me, Cody Connors? You see, you don't know shit, and it was obvious from your tweet. You didn't have any firsthand knowledge of my dispute with Twitch. You said that I got banned from Twitch because I was sexting a minor through whispers messages. <laughs> That's so, do you it's even so know outlandish. what the legal definition of sexting is? I do. And yeah, I used Twitch's whispers, but trust me, I wasn't sexting anyone. You also said the word minor, Cody. I even made sure that word was emphasized in my statement, edited, etc., just to make sure these so-called journalists would pick up on it. <laughs> and boy, oh boy, did they ever, champs. When you and all these so-called journalists, Cody, fired off your tweets, did any of you consider that the Twitch user may have been over the legal age of consent at the time of the messages? You didn't. Neither did any of these journalists and neither did Twitch at the time of the ban. You also tried to tell the world that I was trying to meet up with this user at TwitchCon, but you're wrong. Let's set the record straight. I never intended to meet this user ever. We never made plans to meet at TwitchCon or anywhere else. And in fact, we never met in person ever. Your bullshit accusations gave false courage to other former Twitch employees to make shit up as well. <laughs> I suspect all of you sort of plan and coordinated this attack. These big time publications, these, these journalists, these various outlets are sort of just gossip, gossip channels now. Don't you think champs? They act like they're just gossip channels now without any real journalism and real research happening. They report on all this based on leaks from two former Twitch employees, one of whom was supposedly on the trust and safety team. If these anonymous sources worked on the trust and safety team at the time of my Twitch suspension in 2020, then you would hope they would tell the truth. But apparently that's just too much to ask. Bobby, these the former too much. trust and safety team members, and by the way, I know exactly who they are. <laughs> actually had first-hand knowledge, then what they conveniently left out is, one, Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally admitted that the whisper messages were not sexting. And two, Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally acknowledged that the whispers did not constitute child sexual abuse material CSAM. I'll say it again, neither I, nor the Twitch user exchanged any sexual graphic messages or images. Cody Connors and these other anonymous sources are trying to paint a picture that I was exchanging sexually explicit messages and photos with this Twitch user. That never happened. I even used the word inappropriate purposely. And look at how it was defined by everyone, champs. Huh? Including these defaming articles. I'm sorry, but... Mutual bantering with inappropriate jokes taken out of context should have never led to me getting banned from Twitch in the first place. I mean, how would each of you look if all of your private DMs, your text messages, your chats were looked at, dissected, and taken out of context by someone who's deliberately trying to find something inappropriate in those words? And this is not a situation where a victim publicly accuses someone of wrongdoing. That never happened here we're talking about allegations that twitch made against me as a half-baked reason for justifying their actions of suspending and shutting down my channel allegations that twitch made without even a legal analysis of whether the whisper messages were legal you see i engage with my community i engage with other streamers 
And through Twitch whispers, I communicate with Twitch users. Conversations that consisted of a variety of playing games and gaming politics, content creation, random stuff. This was the extent of my whispers with this Twitch user. On June 21st, 2020, my ex-Twitch partner manager learns that I exchanged whispers with a Twitch user. <laughs> and I say ex-partner manager because for years, this guy didn't do anything for me, my community, <laughs> or my channel. For years. I'm talking no front page love. You're talking about the face of the platform, right? Literally. The face of the platform. We heart, and I know Champions Club remembers this. We got, we got zero front page love on the website. Uh, he was never on my channel. He didn't follow me on Twitter. He wouldn't even inform us about Twitch rival tournaments. We're talking about the two time Twitch rival tournament. Oh, I'm sorry. I got, I would you, would you want to play in it? <laughs> we got zero support from this guy. And it was just so obvious that he carried a grudge against the two time. So after we signed with Twitch in 2019, we asked for a new partner manager. And just a few months later, that ex Twitch partner manager is directly involved with getting me banned. <laughs> Coincidence? The Twitch user tells the ex Twitch partner manager that they do not want to report anything to Twitch. I'll repeat that sentence one more time, just in case anybody missed that one. The Twitch user tells this ex Twitch partner manager that they do not want to report anything to Twitch. But this ex Twitch partner manager encourages the user and even directs them to file a report directly with Twitch, even though the user told them clearly that we never physically met anywhere and that no photographs were exchanged. On June 24th, 2020, Twitch's special operations team receives and reviews the user's report. They find no issues and determine that it did not warrant any further escalation to Twitch's law enforcement response team. <clears throat> that would have been the end. <laughs> that should have been the end. But that partner manager, oh boy, oh boy, did he had it out. Yeah, he had it out for the two time. He finds out that no further action will be taken. So what does he do? He personally escalates the report to a friend on the Twitch's LER team. The LER team, remember, that's the Twitch's law enforcement Chat. response team. Let the man talk. Shut the he fuck up. He escalates the report to a friend on Twitch's LER team. Same people who've been wanting him to speak are the same so people who are just spouting bullshit right now. Just relax. Just listen. The LER analyst pulls the entirety of the whisper messages and begins discussing them with his director of the LER team. Mind you, this director is on vacation at that time and does not have access to their computer or work files. L let me just remind you, I went through a multi-year, multi a, a big-time arbitration. Okay. And, uh... You know, you discover a lot of stuff. Mind you, this director is on vacation at that time. The LER analyst cherry picks and sends a few targeted excerpts out of context from the whisper messages to this director. Now, if you do this, you, you guys are about to, about to get hit by ads. I can't do anything Even when about they it. Aren't. I'm sorry. Within less than one hour, this LER analyst and his director have made the decision to suspend me from Twitch. Twitch submits a report to NCMEC. You guys all read those little articles, huh? The NCMEC. Twitch submits that report. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Guess what? As far as I know, and over four years have passed, they didn't do anything with the report. As far as I know, they didn't escalate Twitch's report to law enforcement. <laughs> Mind you, the same people that made this decision admit internally that the messages did not constitute sexting. The same people that Fucking made this decision yeah. at Twitch admit internally that the messages did not warrant any child sexual abuse material charge. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitted they did not perform any legal analysis 
of whether the messages exchanged were illegal in any way. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitting that they never investigated the age of consent in the jurisdiction where the user's messages were sent and received. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me without ever interviewing me, the user, or any other third party, including the partner manager. It's fucking unbelievable! I'm not going to get into every detail regarding my legal case, <clears throat> but these former Twitch employees that claim to have firsthand knowledge, they just don't have a clue. They didn't report any facts. The judge in the case determined that the whispers were not illegal. <laughs> so then why did Twitch use these messages against me? I, I, why did Twi Twitch treat the doc so differently from there are other streamers. I mean, outside of the obvious. I mean, just take a look at me. <laughs> Unfiltered. Hutchmuth the realest PLS, motherfucker Hutchmuth in this PLS, industry. Hutchmuth PLS, Hutchmuth PLS, Six foot eight. PLS. Gorgeous. Athletic. Successful. College degree. College athlete. Bourbon business. Gaming studio. Beautiful family. And trust me, we've worked hard for over a decade to improve as a person a husband and father and to get where we're at today. I mean, I'm in such a good place today. And all these people, they all act like they're just so perfect. I'm not perfect. I don't claim to be perfect. Eh, sometimes I do. But I also didn't do all the shit that they're saying I did. But then that doesn't make a story, right? They wanted media attention. The media wants controversy. And by sensationalizing all this with big, inaccurate headlines like sexting and sexually explicit, you all got what you wanted at the expense of the two time. The reality is they wanted to cut down the dock. Plain and simple. Take a look at some of these horrendous acts of Twitch streamers that were never banned. I've got some examples right here. Oh, shit. Example number one. A streamer that frequently used the N-word while publicly streaming, which constitutes a violation of Twitch's policies if accompanied by hateful intent. Twitch scheduled a meeting with a streamer to assert his intent to determine whether his contact was a violation of Twitch's policies, ultimately determining... It was not a breach of Twitch's policies. Why wasn't I called into a, from, into a meeting? Why wasn't my intent taken into consideration, champs? Hmm. Example number two. Streamer was reported for discussing doing things with deceased animals and discussing pedophilia all while live streaming. Never suspended, but instead given a multi-million dollar contract. Wait. Example number three. Wait, who? Streamer was reported for a sexually explicit stream involving children and telling children to send Snapchats of them playing with themselves. Never suspended, but instead, hmm, given a multi-million dollar contract. What? Who? It's so obvious that certain Twitch executives, employees involved had personal biases against the doc and used all of this as an opportunity to terminate my contract. Go back and look at the timing of all this, too. Huh. The doc's termination lines up with two preferable, profitable, and expensive streamers leaving Mixer. As soon as Twitch knew that Mixer had failed, and go look at the timing. These other expensive streamers needed a new streaming platform. So Twitch rushed through its decision to terminate the two time. Ooh, that's... You see, I shouldn't even be banned from Twitch. It has affected us on so many levels. Back in 2020, 
and now in 2024. And Cody, Connors, I just have to say it again. Why would you do this? Like I said, this was handled professionally years ago. No fucking wrongdoing. But because of you, Cody, we just lost. Ah, fuck, man. Unfortunately, we have to lay off people from Midnight Society. Right? Because of you, Cody. <clears throat> you know, through all this, we are where we are. And like a fucking man, I'll accept it. But I don't accept to sit in quietly by and let these idiots attack me with false accusations. No. For all these doc haters out there too, oh man. The ones that project and project and project and project and worry about everyone else's problems, right? I, I can't understand that mindset. I don't give, I could care less. We've always stayed in our lane. But somehow, some way, these people, they just get in our lane. For all you doc haters, I'm sure you'll just like dissect all of this and still find a way to publicly criticize me do what you need to do I'll say this this isn't for you this was for my team today my community my friends la familia that have supported me and I'm not denying the exchange of whispers champs I'm not denying that to, to all of you out there it looks bad I have no way of knowing if the twitch user thought our exchange of whispers was inappropriate if it was I apologize all I all I know is that I never did what Twitch, Cody Connors, or the public is claiming that I did. That's it. I'm not saying anything more about any of this, right? Unless I need to, because trust me, I have more. I haven't disclosed. I just want to get back to what we do best. Put on a show. And climb our way to the tippity top of the mountain, man. In our own lane. That's it. I guess my my questions okay all right so <sighs> show the message release the message oh here show we the go messages. <laughs> what are we in second grade So like I said, champs. Not a fitting joke. Not a during this. <laughs> not a fitting joke. Us. Not a fitting joke. Uh we have September 25th is when we can reapply. Um Start COD doc. Okay.
I need to catch up on some uh, donations, though, champs. Okay, so... La la. It, it, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be 100% honest. And as most of you guys know, when all this shit went down, I, I didn't say, didn't go to Twitter, didn't do anything, didn't say anything, right? Um... Mainly because, again, we just, dude, I, I'm, the hearsay bullshit, like, I, I'm not about it. I just, I just want to see the proof, you know? I want to see the proof. And again, like, even after this whole thing, like, all of that we just watched. N none of, none of it means anything. Like, again, like, I understand, like, uh, you weren't sexting a minor, okay? How, what, what, what were you saying? Like, I, I, people like to have this main character syndrome, like everyone's out to get them, and maybe, maybe they were out to get Doc. I don't know, but it would be so easy for me to be like, "Hey guys, he wasn't doing it. This is what the messages read. Everybody, take a look. Let's read them together, because obviously he wasn't. Because blah 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 blah." This is what it reads. Here is the fine print. We can make that decision ourselves because we can see it with our own eyes. That's not second grade shit. That, that's, like, I'm not going to just, you know, take your word for it. I, I, I can't. And it just, it, it, it doesn't make sense in my brain that someone would just go out of their way to ruin you because... They wanted to sign Ninja and Trout back and they needed to make have money allocated for you. That that doesn't I, I just don't I don't comprehend it. Like I just don't I don't understand why that would happen. And it, it's more I won't say it's more unbelievable than, than the other thing, but it's just it doesn't it doesn't compute. You know? And I don't think asking to see the messages in a scenario like this is an outlandish thing to request. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I feel like if, it, if I was in this situation myself, that's what I would do. I just be like, hey, I know I didn't do it. I know I didn't do this, what everyone's accusing me of. Here's the proof. Shut the fuck up. Leave me alone. Here's the proof of what happened. And he didn't really, he, he didn't argue the fact, he even owned up to the fact that he was messaging someone. He, he, he changed the wording of, of, of minor and sexting and all of this, but he never said that he wasn't doing it. He just said that it wasn't to the extent that everyone is portraying on the internet. And I will agree, the internet is a fucking cesspool, bro. You do say, claim, whatever, people will blow it up. I mean, look at the news, look at everything that goes on. The The whole world is ending. This is the worst world we've ever lived in. You know, racism is more now than it's ever been. You know, everything is the worst. You're a piece of shit, I'm a piece of shit. The world is ending if we look at the media. The media is a fucking cesspool in every way, shape, and form. I do not doubt that, nor do I argue that, that people will clickbait the fuck out of things for views and for acknowledgement of their articles. It's hard for me to say that that is what happened here without seeing the proof that it didn't, you know? And again, I, I don't hate Doc. I love Doc, man. I, I grew up watching Doc. I wanted to be a streamer because of Doc. That's the only reason I even give a fuck about this shit. I don't care. I'm not sitting here wanting Doc to not be a streamer anymore, you know? I, I, in my brain, the larger streamers, like, bro, those guys keep fucking doing your thing, keep blowing up the streaming world because a guy like me only benefits off of the streaming world gaining more viewership and gaining more eyes on it and getting the word out, right? But for me, it's like, dude, I grew up watching you. I fucking love, I loved your content. And, you know, as someone who I'm not, we're not friends, but like, I'd love to have your back. I just, I can't. I can't. I can't. Once something like that's put out there, I can't just ignore it and be like, 
well he says it didn't happen this multi-billion dollar corporation said it did i'm just gonna listen to him it didn't happen until they release proof oh it wasn't against the law he's not arrested you can still do a lot of fucking stupid shit and it not be against the law you know i don't know man i kind of uh after after watching that it just i feel like we got a big nothing burger you know I feel like we got a big nothing burger. I also feel like with a lot of his statements, he was, he was very upset at people for bringing it to light, which I, I mean, I get it. People got, you know, let go because of it. But I mean, none of this would have happened if you weren't messaging, potentially messaging someone underage. I, I I don't have any messages with I, uh, someone underage randomly. That, that that didn't just randomly happen to me. I don't think someone stole his phone and was sending these messages. I don't think that this just, just randomly occurred. Oh, mistake. I was messaging someone maybe who was underage or wasn't. I don't know. It doesn't just happen. Said she was of age. Uh, brother, I, I mean... <sighs> Again, I, I find it hard to believe that he was banned off of Twitch for messaging an a individual who was of age about something. What, that doesn't, are, you, are you like computing what you're saying right now? Why the fuck would he be banned off of Twitch for just messaging another person? The fuck are you saying? That, that what you're saying right now makes absolutely no sense. So, again, man, I, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just want to see the receipts, bro. Honestly, that's where I'm at. I'm so tired of, of, of looking at this shit and it's just being here. He says, she said from both sides. I just want to see the fucking receipts, bro. I'm at that point in my life. Uh, it, it doesn't directly involve me. Only reason I even look at it is because, uh, again, I grew up watching the guy and he's was one of my idols in the streaming industry on what I would like my channel to be in terms of entertainment factors. But, you know, it is what it is, dude. You know, it is what it is. I won't, I'm, I'm not going to be watching him. So, that's that. Um, my foot went dead. Mm -hmm. Use another fuck. Okay. Uh, I mean, if it's okay with you, can we call for a fourth unit? Do they have five suspects? To grow the doc stash lines. Okay. <laughs> 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 fuck you. Alright, uh, comms on the vehicle, eastbound Mirror Park Boulevard. It's gonna be a four door blue buffalo. And, and, and I wanna make something else very clear, chat. I want to make something else very clear. I'm not sitting here telling you guys not to go and watch him or whatever. I don't give a fuck what you do. You know, I, I was born and I live in a country that has freedom. And you can do and say and basically whatever the fuck you want. You want to go and watch him. You don't think that there's enough proof to say, oh, man, I don't want to watch him anymore. I don't give a fuck what you do, bro. Go watch him. Go fucking watch what's going on. Go, go do whatever. I don't give a damn. I really don't give an absolute fuck what you do. I'm telling you where I'm at. You can make your decision as an adult to do what you want to do, okay? And that's that. Guess what in the hell are you I'm doing? Captain. You better Don't whoop his fucking ass. Eastbound, Elysian Fields Freeway. You said now. <laughs> Cutting off road. Get in the car, Gus. Jesus Christ. Road, uh... Gus, you realize you're making us both look I like absolute fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. Get back. Get in the car, Gus. Stop goofing around. 76. ASAP, ASAP. We have four suspects boxed in right now. Is that right here to the left? Where is this? 
We're gonna be Del Perro Freeway, uh, parallel to Buffalo Street. Kind of a shootout on San Andreas. We can get an additional. Updated. I'm breaking from your guys' box. I'm helping out with the shootout. Not going shootout. up. Lost the Gunas. Weapon out. Chat, let's go ahead and end the conversation, boys. Like I said, right, do whatever out. you guys want, man. But, well, that's uh, not banished. There's still shots you being know. fired. Yeah, it's time for all units just break up and say, so we're going to go with this. We have an active 95. They're going east on Pollock now. Is it just me or do these cars fucking suck? Uh, blue, 